Hi everyone, uh, today I'm glad to announce that um, I finalized the uh, lighting solution uh, for, the, for the office uh, project. So now I'm just running uh, the last calculation uh, and simulation for the entire uh, office building. And then we can have a look inside of each space which luminaire I choose, I give you more um, information about each type, uh, speak about the space that um, are um, in the, in, uh, presented in, the, in this project and the criteria of selection of the luminaires. And in the end, I want to show you as well um, how you export um, all, the, all the information related to lighting calculation uh, out of uh, the Alux Evo. In a, as well, you, you can uh, have it in a PDF file, but as well you can print this, uh, this information. So it's, it's up to you um, which data you need to present to your, to your customer or you want to work with. So it took a while a uh, couple of days to, to finish everything uh, but I'm glad uh, that everything is done so we'll navigate together um, in this video in um, through all the spaces and have a look on in deep on on the lighting uh, proposal which I made for this uh, office building if you have any also comments related to my videos as mentioned also in the, my previous video just uh, just a comment to my to my channel and i will be glad to to answer to your comments but as well um, knowing your difficulties or struggles uh, when you do a design or you, when you choose a solution um, feel free to share with me. I'm more than happy to, to support in this matter. Yeah, it takes quite a bit of time. Um, as well, I want to run, maybe not in this video, a daylight uh, simulation. I think also will be very important uh, to see the apport of natural light. Um, for this uh, for this building and one additional uh, tip which I want to share with you is when you don't need the exactly lighting parameters which you need to fulfill for a certain space then you can just go on the click on the file and in the settings um, you'll have available uh, on the standards, just I need to wait a little bit until uh, the lighting calculation it's uh, it's over, and then I will have access exactly. So now you just click on the on the standard, and then here you have all the spaces um, um, for indoor application, for my education, uh, the building side, building side office, for example. It just Type here, for example, office, and then you you see all the spaces um, inside of uh, an office uh, can be found, and then you have also all the speaking about the visual tasks, surrounding area, background area, which you need to to fulfill. Very important also for for office, you know you know that you need to fulfill the UGR, which is less than nineteen. UGR means unified glare ratio. And for example, if you have a canteen and in some office you, you do have it, a space and you don't find it in this, then you just type it on the search and then you have it here. And then you just use this space and you see all the lighting parameters which are typical uh, for that space and you need to, to fulfill. So yeah, move, let's move back to, to the luminar, to the project. So now we have the lighting calculation, it's over. Um, you see how beautiful 
it looks now with a with the light let's say inside of each space um let's let's dive for example in this office uh so here i'll just see this office number four for example you can just choose it from here and then you just go exactly uh, on this office you see also the room um, near it here i use a um, 3 by 12 luminaire recessed as you can see it in the ceiling and yeah for illumination of the task area and also the surrounding another tip which i want to uh to show you is that for an office uh when you have um shelves usually on the close to the wall then you can eliminate um a space of 0 0.5 in this case i didn't do it but if you can see the wall zone should be reduced normally on an office by 0 0.5 and then if you click OK, you see how it's shrinking. I will not do this for this space. Um, I did it for, for example, the single office. So in this case, you see I eliminate. I have a shelf here, a shelf here. And then I just make the calculation area uh, only around the desk, desk area, actually, where it's, uh, the work uh, is conducted. Um, yeah, what well, is relevant to calculate? And here you see we have the eliminated the wall zone, which is the 0.5. So you can do uh, the same. Also, the um, norm is uh, advising, uh, giving this recommendation when you do the lighting calculation for an office. So that's not a problem. Uh, you can you can just use this uh, this recommendation uh for your for your calculations good moving back on the spaces let's see so for the another office i choose again uh six by six the office two for example um it's here on this office a six by six uh luminaire where we have six pieces for this office then I went for Office 6 with a 3 by 12 again. Here I use, use um, very nice luminaire uh, metal light. If you click on it, you see also the lighting distribution curve of, uh, of the luminaire. So it's more, it's not a very wide. Obviously it's a, a wide beam, but you can also compare it with this one, which I will say it's more wide. And then we can go also on the office where I, I try to use also uh, freestanding luminaires. Um, just um, the freestanding, it's more for the individual uh, place uh, of working. So it's usually is giving you a flexibility. If you, for example, you move the desk, then it's much easier. You don't need to, to wire or um, have the cabling done then you just uh, just just move the lamp uh, where you have the your uh, your desk and i combine the freestanding luminaires with uh, downlight luminaires just to have the uniformity and uh, yeah uh, fulfill all the uh, requirements related to the lighting here we have a technical room where you could say we have the server so here i was using just a line luminaire two rows between the between the server and here we have a archive where we have a lot of files um, and then we need also uh, the light between between these shelves and again i just use continuous uh, lighting lines between the shelves just to have a proper uh, illumination Again, for a single office, I just use a freestanding combined with downlights for this office and for the next one. Uh, for the toilets, I was using downlights also on the, let's say, common area, but also on the, on the toilet uh, itself for each uh, toilet box, let's say. Here we have, uh, we have a dining room 
Um, I was just using the downlight, which I think makes makes sense. Of course, this is my proposal, but you can do it as well with um, by using a six by six luminaires without any problems. Here I use a surface mounted um, suspended luminaire again three by twelve. Uh, on the reception, the 6x6, six six, um, on the staircase, down lights. Uh, for the meeting room, I try to combine two lines of, uh, of diamond lights and with a suspended luminaire, um, which is installed above above the table. Uh, I try also to combine um, different luminaires with different optics. Um, the best you, you shall see when you... you the characteristic of each luminaire when you extract the, the documentation of what they are looks. The only problem which, uh, let's say, the lens um, optics have um, is that the multi-shadow effect. Uh, so all the time uh, you will have this kind of effect. If it's fine for you and for your customer, then you can propose these kind of luminaires equipped with, uh, with uh, this kind of optics. And usually, if you want a smooth um, light surface diffuse, then you go for um, a diffuser um, optic on the on the luminaire. And yeah, I would say that's that's more about the the lighting established for this office building. I think it lo looks good. Um, what you can choose also. Uh, it's by clicking on the display options you can have also the um, show the false colors and here you have a line where you can see actually the lux level um, achieved uh, let's say based on the color for example when you go on the green because we have a lot of green it's around 300 and when you go on the green yellowish then you go on on 500 which is more yellow then you go on 750 so it's just to, just an idea about the light level that you have achieved for a certain space or, or for uh, for the all spaces like in in this case Again, if you don't want to, to see the wireframe, you can have it like this. This is a couple of nice options which you can use if you think that they are important for you or you just um, let it as it is by not using them. Okay, I will say that it's time to go to the export. So here you just click on the export button uh, on documentation we move now and then you have already choose a you see you have none here you have a technical planner um, and also a building owner um, being a, such a let's say quite big, uh, big office building with a lot of rooms um, it's quite will generate a lot of a, a lot of uh, a lot of pages a lot of materials also you have a list of all the luminaire here which have been used um, in this in this project and then it's you see you have the all the spaces the R hive the bath number one or bath two and corridor and for each you have a summary it will be yeah display on the on the right side of the screen then you have a luminaire layout plan you have a luminaire list and you, you you see the quantity a short description unfortunately the picture of the luminaire is not available and you have also the light distribution curve of the of the luminaire and the same the same information are available uh, for all the spaces inside of the, uh, of the of the office building and now yeah you see also here it's much nicer when you have also a picture of the of the luminaire when you want to present your solution in front of um, other people it's it's nice to really understand um, 
which type of luminaire um, you propose. And then if everything have, let's say we, we select everything or we just um, click on the technical planner and then start a bit and then it's excluding the luminaires. You will have only the luminaires for each space representative. And then you just click on the on the print and you need to go here on pages actually click on the term in page count and based on how many spaces do you have and based on the, your selection it will generate automatically um, a number of pages which later on you can just yeah you can ex uh, export it to to pdf or you can just print it if you uh, if you want to have a hard copy um, next if you have more information about the customer you can just add the image and add all the name company address telephone and all the other information uh, the same way you will do for your for yourself the person which de made this uh, design proposal add all this information and this will be also a use for uh, export and if you have a template or you want to create a template then you can uh, do it from activate this this option so yeah i think for today that's all uh for the next video i try i will try to to do a, a daylight uh, calculation for this building by adding additional uh two floors just to be more complex and uh, i will want also to do the exterior um, light design of this office building um, having adding some parking places um, street uh, lighting um, just to to have like a complete uh, complete project um, so if you have again comments questions please add it uh, please feel free to to add it uh, subscribe to my 